your periodic reminder that slavery never ended in the United States of America. We are not separate from history. We are a living part of it. And history is a connected series of events. It is not stuff that happened in the past. The things that you think are not connected to you, to your life, you're wrong. If you live in the country, if you live under the same laws that govern the people who you view as lesser than you, those who are incarcerated, those who are criminals, and therefore, by law, in this country, slaves. They are criminalizing homelessness, they're criminalizing protest, and all of these things are connected because they are yet more ways that you, personally you, can be turned into one of our country's slaves, the workforce, the hidden workforce that powers most of the stuff that says made in America. All of our struggles are connected and all of our lives, all of our freedoms are connected to each other. They are bound up together and they are inextractable from each other. Whether we're talking about what's happening in the Middle East or we're talking about what's happening here in our prison systems. Who do you think makes most of the military helmets in this country? It's the people who we let go to prison and languish there, mostly for nonviolent crimes. Life in this country is a pincer attack of icy civility and social smoothness, like at your dinner tables where you're not allowed to talk about politics, but then the overwhelming violence of the state as the other end of that. So the second you break from the icy civility that you're supposed to live in, in order to just go along to get along, you are then met with the overwhelming violence of the state, no matter who you are, no matter what your demographics are. Legal is perhaps the most dangerous word in human history, because all it means is that you are connected to whatever series of fictions of whatever flag you live under, right? That means that whatever is considered legal is where violence will be applied to you if you break against those laws. The choice to live quietly under those laws, to live in the icy civility for your own comfort, doesn't actually protect you. You do and will always have more in common with someone in prison than you do with one of the vulture class nitwits that is making all of our lives a living hell every single day. The grim precarity of our existence the fact that most of us can't afford a $500 expense to literally save our ability to live in our homes. And now, since they're criminalizing homelessness, that means you could end up in jail and become part of the prison population. We're all in this together and we better fucking start acting like it because there's not much time.